Good evening. Today is Thursday, September 14, 2023. Jump date for Friday 15. All right, let's go. With no setups again tonight, energy's banged out new highs, so we could see some setups there soon. The setups that I am seeing, or the stocks that I'm seeing that are potential setups, I should say, have a lot of issues, and I'll show you an example of that in just one second. We'll get the portfolio in one second, too. Oh, go ahead and bump your stop just a little bit on the... LFMD, it made a new closing high today. KBH, only stock on the Landry list. Let me just show you real quick, like ACMR. You know, this one kind of caught my eye. It looks pretty darn good, but then you back the chart out. It does have some issues and lots and lots of overhead supply. So I, I would leave that one alone, but this is the type of stock right now that I'm seeing. Just a lot of issues longer term. And I think it was like VTLE was another one of those that I talked about uh, lately or recently, I should say. So again, you know, it looks okay, but then you back the chart out. It's got tons and tons of issues with overhead supply. It got, it got, it got kind of whacked today, or it, it, it was whacked today pretty hard. So anyway, I'm looking for stuff, just not finding a whole lot just yet. The good news is, again, with the energy's banging out new highs, we could see some setups there fairly soon. Let's take a look at the portfolio, and then let's pop out to the overall market. A few things I want to talk about tonight. KBH, again, a little bit of a bounce. Still looks like it's in trouble longer term, though. Kind of an inverted cup and handle, bow tie, and all the other good stuff. K and, a, K and F hit all-time highs and then backed off of those levels. I sure like to see it obviously break out and not look back. Usually with IPOs, new highs beget more and more new highs. Finally getting a close above this range, or toward the top of the range, I should say, of this LFM, this range from LFM. D, one cup of coffee tomorrow, Dave. <laughs> Not too far from these all-time highs. So, you know, routine one day at a time, one little nice little push higher certainly would uh, would get the ball rolling on that one, possibly get us to the IPT. Obviously, on your stops, just in case. In this case, we're going to bump the stop a little bit. Let's take a look at the overall market, and there's a few things I want to flesh out. Before we look at the market, let's take a look at the dollar. Dollars been pretty strong as of late, banging out some new highs in here. Euro was pretty weak today, as was the pound. Let's take a look at the P's, S&P 500. Nice day there, up almost 1%, but still kind of toppy intermediate term in here. The good news is, and this is something I'm going to flesh out quite a bit tonight, is the weekly still looks pretty good, at least going back to the beginning of summer. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ had a decent day. Still is a bit of a top look to it or a topping look to it. So you know the routine. Here it comes one day at a time. Rusty rallied a little bit in here, but still stuck in this range as it has been forever. Energy's bam, all-time highs with a little bit of vigor. I like to see that. Now we just need a bit of a knockout type of move. Speaking of knockouts, maybe keep an eye out for trend knockouts within energies. Usually when a sector starts banging out all-time highs, you get a big sell-off in individual issues, and then that could set the stage for some nice setups. Foods pulling back, still look like a top is in place there financials none of those areas kind of looking top he had a decent day today though defense recently broke down in here bouncing a little bit looks like it's in a lot of trouble and has a lot of overhead supply so the reason i'm showing you all these sectors is a lot of areas are looking questionable at best mnc obviously still looks like it could be in trouble transports have rolled over a little bit of a bounce still look like they're in trouble though software a bit of a bummer because it stalled out over the last couple of days Tried to rally a little bit, but it's beginning to have some issues, obviously. We've got the gap down here, and now it's got to get past these multiple peaks. Let's take a look at the semiconductors. Semiconductors up a little bit today, better than the poke in the eye, but still kind of sideways at best. They still have a bit of a head and shoulders top look to them. And then longer term, as I've been saying, they're bumping up against these old highs in here. I'm going to flesh all this out, obviously, in a lot more detail later tonight. Now it's time to sit tight. But the, every day that goes by, we're getting closer and closer to setups. And the good news is, like I've been saying, we could see some energy setting up fairly soon. Everybody have a great night, and I hope to see you at the show if you're not too busy. Thank you so much.